question for you. Um, in the beginning, when we first started off, in fact, when we first started the Santa Barbara Rio, we worked out of your office at First American Title on Upper State Street, yes. which was great. I really thank uh, you for uh, making that available. One of the things that you gave us at that time was, I think, access to Fast Web, or Fast, what was it? It was Fast something. That's Fast that. Web. Fast Web. And you were able to get property profiles. So if you're wondering, you know, about that particular property and who had the loans and all that stuff, that was something that we were able to get for free to log in. And I had it for a long, long time. And not very many people realized it, so they weren't driving you crazy with, you know, can we get free access? And it all worked pretty good. But, you know, over the last maybe six months or a year, whatever it was, I lost access to that. I called up and tried to regain, and they said yes, they would, and they never called back. And so I thought, gee, where are we now? And is it still possible to get free access, or is it paid service now? It's complimentary from the title company. FastWeb is still something that's available, but Agent First is notches about that. And um, username and password is okay. something that comes to you from an email okay. from me. I put in an application on your behalf if you're interested in this tool. It's no charge to you. There is a charge for American pays. So we do track it in terms of how much usage you're, you're getting from it. Um, when you use it an awful lot, we're obviously we're hoping to gain some business from that. Um, for americantitle.com, there is no username, there's no password. You can access that. And there really is a lot of information on that for your, your buyers, sellers. Um, we have something that new that's called um, Consumer education, and that is a video. You can click on the uh, link there, and it gives you videos that will tell you what to expect, or maybe your first time buyers, what to expect when you're coming into the title company. Um, that's for your knowledge or to share with your clients. Uh, also, maybe what a document is people will receive packages in the mail to sign, and if they're in a transaction and they don't quite know what that is. He'll explain that to me, and we are always there to help too. I have my cards in the back. And just see, oh, and for investors, that uh, if you know that you're going to turn a uh, real estate property over within two years, there's something called a binder. And this is something that you'll purchase initially in the first transaction, and it will save you a lot of money in the second transaction. Um, I 
Second time on the same property? Yeah, on the same property. If you're, um, if you know that you're going to flip a property, or um, you won't be holding on to it for two years, then uh, at the in that within that two years, that binder will save you an awful lot of money. Are flippers the only ones that use that binder? Well, anybody that would be having another transaction within two years, so necessarily on the same property. That would be that would be if you your name was untitled, if you were signing yes. it, that would be the case, would it? I'm not following you. Well, if, if you were signing the property, if you were wholesaling it to another buyer, to a cash buyer, and no, you're not no, because you're never own, you're not owning it. No. service window that if you if it's 11:30 in the evening and you're having a thought and want to check something like that you can um, go to the customer service box at Richard Hill. they will answer you a live person within an hour like 95 percent of the time there's also something else that is um, it's called a combined report and so you put in your property and check the combined report within 30 seconds. You have all this information that I just said, the tax map, the neighbors, and comps. I didn't say comps, do that. So there's also an there's also an area, Dropbox, that if you wanted um, comparisons in the area that you could check that and it'll give you, it's called easy comps. And it gives you everything in the area that may have sold in the last year or so. But and also, if you have, let's say, a five-bedroom home, three bath, you don't want a comp that's going to show three bedroom, two bath. So then there's a way to structure it as well. Um, and you can say within an eighth of a mile or three miles. Yes. You know, I, I must say, I, I've used Tessie and First American Title for the last five years, at, at least. And uh, Agent First is excellent. It's 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 pretty good. It's this it's limited to what you can use it for. But if you give business to Tessie, your title orders, you have First American Title has unlimited sources of records, anything you need. She's, they're, they're excellent, thank you. very thank you. excellent. Yes. A little bit of a technical question: Escrow and Title. A property is owned by three people. One person owns 66%, the other two own one sixteen percent whatever it is. Anyway, there's a majority owner that owns 66%. The other two people died. None of their heirs ever filed for probate. So there's only one living majority owner. When the property is being sold, you can't answer the question? I'm sorry, sir. I, I don't mean to cut you off there, sorry, but no. I know I won't be able to okay. answer that question. Okay. Okay. I'd love to help you with it. I don't know the answers to escrow questions, but I know where to go to get those answers. Thank you. Okay, and my card is in the back, so if you would take it and call me, I promise I could get your answers to any questions. Yes. Right. Do you handle double closings and dry closings? I don't know the answer to that. Double closing? Oh, yes. You guys do handle double closing. I think you're in the second. Dry closing. I'm not familiar with that term. Draft Draft, yeah, right. That's where you don't come in with any money. It's uh, all handled by the second buyer. Okay, I apologize. I don't know that. But we can take that part. Okay. Yes. Let me see. Yes. Yeah, I probably missed it, but did you say? The website you can log into it and sign up without having to call somebody up. There's or? no username. There's no password for the website. Oh, great! Okay. And there's a ton of information. Okay. On there. there really is a lot of information. Um, Good. Yeah. Okay. And, um, Just a plug for you. It really should be in your favorites when you're doing your due diligence on anything. You know, it should be in your favorites on your computer. You. And, I think so too. And, and look all that kind of information up. And really do it's, it's no charge to you. And um, 
it really it can assist you. It can be a big tool. It helps. It does help a lot of investors already. Yes, you And I use First American for over 20 years, and you guys are great community supporters as well as free information. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.